hotels in the area are completely sold out. Yeah. Parking lots are packed. I mean, why do you think that there's so much excitement surrounding this launch? Because this is not a typical day at the Space Coast. It's the biggest rocket in the world by far. It's like the first time something exciting has happened in rocket launch in a very long time, far from, you know, our boosters landing. Whether the rocket succeeds or fails, it's going to be exciting. People are coming from all around the world to see what will either be a great rocket launch or the best fireworks display they've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys were first trying to land the booster from Falcon 9, you likened the difficulty level to balancing a rubber broomstick on your hand in the middle of a windstorm. Right. So how would you categorize the difficulty level of this launch? Well, it's kind of like balancing three rubber broomsticks on, in, in, a, in a windstorm. So I think the most thing I'm most worried about on ascent is that you've got these three rockets which or even though they look stiff, they're kind of floppy under these high loads. Mm -hmm. So you could have the body, the body's bending and, and sm smacking into each other. You've got unbelievable uh, sound levels and vibration levels. You know, five million pounds of thrust is 18 747s at full blast. Yeah, so that's this a is lot. a really crazy amount of power going through this, and it's it's really a miracle that uh, that rocket holds together at all. Mm -hmm. The separation system that tosses off the side boosters has never been tested before in space, so that's going to be a uh, that's going to be a big deal for that to work. And then even once it's in orbit, it's going to be the longest coast mission we've ever done. So it's going to be coasting for six hours in just blackest space right. deep in a vacuum um, at three degrees above absolute zero on one side, searing heat on the other. So you could have vaporization of oxygen, uh, you could have the fuel freeze, um, and so that's a lot all before. Could go wrong. Yeah, a lot could go yeah. wrong. Before a lot of firing. firsts happening tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot of firsts. So, what would a success or possible failure of this launch mean for SpaceX? Well, I think um, let's focus on the success. <laughs> <laughs> right. Think uh, positive. The success part is it means that uh, we'll have a rocket that can carry the biggest satellites uh, in the world. In fact, uh, people can actually make even bigger satellites than before. We could, if we wanted, uh, take a Crew Dragon that's under development and send people on a loop around the moon and actually go further than they went in Apollo. These are all possible with Falcon Heavy. Washington is paying very close attention to this launch. Even Mike Pence's chief of staff tweeted that a successful launch could have, quote, major positive ramifications for the U.S. space industry. Right. So what do you think those ramifications could look like? Apart from the obvious stuff like providing competition for national security space launches, um, it, uh, it will mean that uh, there's a U.S. heavy lift rocket that's the most competitive in the world. Um, our rocket will cost about half as much as the, as other heavy lift rockets from Russia, Europe, and China, and and be able to do twice as much payload. What will this mean, though, for the government's own heavy lift rocket program, SLS? Well, I think it's going to give the, uh, the the government options. Um, so it's good to have options for advancement of uh, human spaceflight, and um, yeah, the competition is a good thing.